Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you the basics of Python's Turtle Graphics module. If you stay to the end, you will learn how to draw a stop sign like this using Turtle. Turtle was part of the original logo programming language that was adopted by Python, and it's super beginner friendly. So let's get started. First of all, you need to import Turtle. You can start a screen using turtle.screen. If you are not using an IDE, you also need to call turtle.main loop at the end of the script. When you run a script, a blank screen will appear for you to draw. Imagine inside the screen, there's a robotic turtle starting at the center. You can visualize the turtle by instantiate a turtle object using turtle.turtle .turtle and assign it to T. Now there's an arrowhead appearing on the screen. The arrowhead is pointing at the direction where the turtle is facing. You can give the turtle some commands to make it move around the screen. The turtle will behave like a pen and leave a trace behind it. You can command the turtle to go forward or backward and turn the turtle's heading direction to left and right. Here I'm going to first type t.forward100 and run the code. We can see that the turtle moved forward 100 pixels and drew a straight line. Then I add a command t.write90 to turn the turtle 90 degrees to the right. And then t.forward100, turn right 90 degrees again, forward 100, turn right 90 degrees another time, and forward 100 again. What I've drawn, you may have guessed, it's a square. Sometimes you may not want a turtle to draw a continuous line. Instead, you want to move the turtle to a position and then start drawing. You can use the pen up and pen down methods. When pen up is called, the turtle can be moved around but won't leave any trace until pen down is called. In our script, I lift the pen up after drawing the square, move the turtle forward by 50 pixels, and put the pen down and continue moving forward 50 pixels. You can see there's a break in the turtle's trace. If you want to move the turtle's specific coordinates on the screen without giving a sequence of forward, backward, and turn commands, a simpler way is using the setPulse method. I type setPulse00, and you can see the turtle has moved to the center of the screen. Next. Let's explore the other properties of the drawing a little bit. We can change the line width of the drawing using pen size. We can change the screen color using screen.bg color and the drawing color using t.color. To fill an enclosed area, all you have to do is to call t.beginFill, make your drawing, and call t.endFill. We can see the square is filled with white color. If you want the fill color different from the stroke color, you can pass a second color into the t.color method. I pass yellow as the second argument, and the square is filled with yellow but has a white outline. Last but not least, we can write text on the screen using turtle.write. This method takes four arguments. Arg is the text you want to write. Move, whether the pen is moved to the bottom right corner of the text. Align, whether you want the text to align left, center, or right. Font, you can specify the font name, font size, and type. Now we have the necessary knowledge, we can start drawing the stop sign. I'm going to import the math module because we need to use a little bit of math. I make a function called draw stop sign. It takes four arguments, t, the turtle object, x and y coordinates of the center, and the length of the side. I first lift the pen up and move the pen to the location of the top left vertex of the octagon. The x coordinate is x minus length divided by 2, and y is y plus length divided by 2 divided by math.pi divided by 8. Then I put the pen down. I set the stroke and fill colors to white and red, respectively, and pen size proportional to the side length. Now I'm ready to draw and fill the octagon shape. So I type begin fill to begin fill color. Then I use a for loop to repeat eight times of the following commands. 
first command the turtle to go forward the length of the side and second turn right 45 degrees. Outside of the for loop, I type end fill. Then I set the font size to an integer that is half of the side length. I lift up the pen and move the turtle to the center. But accounting for the height of the letters, I move the Y position downwards by half of the font size by using set pause. Then I put a pen down and write the word stop using turtle.write. In the end, I hide the turtle using the hide turtle method. And now we have a stop sign. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more future tutorials, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.